In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an animation in Maya and how to export it as an i3D file. Click the file link beneath the video player to get all the sample files for this chapter. Once the archive is downloaded, we can copy it to our desktop and unpack the contents. Then we start Maya. First we should set a root directory via file set project, which effectively ensures the path to the texture files are relative to each other. After which we can open our example files. Amongst them is a trailer, the crampy BBE 500. We may need to set the unit of measurement to meters. We can do this via menu, window, settings, preferences, under Working Units in the Settings section. Now we'll create the tipping animation in Maya. In principle, we don't even need to use Maya at all. We only need to find the animation in the corresponding XML file. But for very complex animations and depending on how you prefer to work, it might be easier to create your animations in Maya. To begin with, we open the scene graph and click on the first element. Then we select the element body, as this is the object we want to animate. To create an animation, we first set the menu set to Animation. Then we can select the body object and create a new animations container via Character, Create Character Set in the menu bar. As we can see in the scene graph, a new animation has been added. In addition, the fields for the position and rotational information of the object are shaded in yellow in the Attribute Editor. We now need to define the start and end positions of the object in our animation. The positions in between will automatically be calculated by Maya and later by the Giants engine, so that a smooth flowing movement is generated. We'll set the start position first, and for this purpose we want a new keyframe. We can create a new keyframe via Animate, Set Key. Now we can see from the timeline that a new keyframe has been created because the first time slot has a red bar. We set the display time domain to the same value as the length of the animation. For more complex animations, it may be useful to extend this time domain to allow for the sufficient setting of keyframes. After the start position, we now need to set the end point. We shift the timeline to the last time frame. In other words, we move the marker to the end of the animation. Now we can bring the body object into the desired position. To do so, we rotate it until it has reached what we feel is the proper degree of rotation. 60 degrees will probably do the trick. Now we can set the end frame, the final keyframe, by clicking on Animate, Set Key in the menu. We can then go back and forth in the animation by clicking on the marker for the current frame and moving this marker backwards and forwards. And so we have successfully created our first animation in Maya. The next step is to export the object and the corresponding animations as a single i3D file. In the menu under Animate, Create Clip, we can click on the square at the side of the command to set the available options. Here we can enter a name, which we'll do now. Finally, we can export the trailer by bringing up the i3D tools menu, then choosing the path and file name of where the file should be saved. I click on Export All and the i3D tools exports all objects in the scene into the specified i3D file. Let's look at the result in the Giants editor. We open the first element and click on the container. And we can see from the color coding of the transform attributes that the container has actually been animated. Then we can open the animations window in the menu under Window, Animation. And we can now play the animation.